All righty. So back, Marianne, with the Kashuk Inspirations. And this is going to be our fourth and final video regarding the 13 moon lunar calendar spread. And what we've done is um, I've created a playlist and put all the four videos in so you can refer to them over the next coming year regarding the energies and the, the issues that the moon cycles will bring up for us to be able to focus on and who will be helping us with this. Um, this year is called the Red Solar Lunar Year. <laughs> and it starts today with the new moon on July 26th and when the new moon in Leo today and let me tell you, my fire energies are, my creativity is off the charts today, guys. I've done, I don't know how many videos. I mean, I haven't posted for the longest time, and all of a sudden, I've got videos up. I've got Facebook uh, posts up. So definitely check out my Facebook posts. Um, some beautiful pictures that I'm choosing as the covers for this. Um, the artist's name is Android Jones, which I just found today. I just think his work is awesome really really pretty so again if you would like a spread done for you go ahead and check out my um, my Akashic Inspirations uh, website and let's just get into the reading so I want to recap and we'll do a recap of all the cards in the moon so far so you kind of get used to them a little bit because I think I'm going to be working a lot more with this energy because it really seems to resonate with me right now and it's based of course off of the Mayan calendar it's uh, 28 day cycles of uh, 13 months and one day which is uh, the day of uh, it's actually called the peace day which uh, would have been yesterday um, which is July 25th so we go with the first moon which is the moon of purpose and we pulled Isolt on dying love that is who is going to be helping us and in what energies. The second moon um, we came, got through was Sarasvati with the arts, and that is the moon of challenge. So by allowing yourself to be lulled by the arts, by music, by creativity, by painting, whatever it is that you do to boost your creative um, outlets, that's what's going to help you get through uh, meeting challenges within yourself and and what's mirrored in into your life. I think I messed up on the last video, but the actual the third card uh, for the third moon is the moon of service and its segment with be strong. So finding the strength within ourselves and um, finding that that inner core. The fourth moon is the moon of form and how our service is going to take form and its uh, vesta comes through. Um, with home to help us with that. The fifth moon is the moon of radiance and there we have Cordelia with going outside into nature as a way of connecting and a way of empowering ourselves. And then we have the moon of equality um, which Ab Abundancia comes in to tell us that we need to be able to equally receive and to give in order for the prosperity and abundance to flow in our lives. The seventh moon is ruled by Hathor with receptivity, and it is the moon of attunement. And it's how to attune ourselves so we can be of service to others. So it's it's really about what you allow in to your life that heightens your intuition and your energy so that you can then, in turn, turn it around and, and share it with the world. The eighth moon is the moon of integrity, and it's do I live what I believe? And Athena comes in to tell us, listen to your inner wisdom, connect to your intuition, connect to source, let it speak through you so that you are living your truth. And for the ninth moon, we have moon of intention and we got Yamanya with golden opportunities and that she is bringing our wishes to fruition. She is helping us through setting of intentions on attaining our purpose. So. Now we're going to go to the 10th moon, which is the moon of manifestation. And it's how do I perfect what I do? So who is, which of the goddesses is going to come through to help us um, uh, uh, to, to be better and to be best at who we are 
and what it is that we put out into the world in the form of manifestation. Let's see. No. Okay. And we have Una with Easy Does It. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Love this card for this 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 spot. How do we manifest? We allow it to come in its own time. We cannot force things. We have to trust. And I and I, there's a a metaphor for this that I I just love. It's like you go to a restaurant and you order your meal. Like you're not constantly after the waiter saying, "Hey, remember my ravioli? Hey, uh, oh yeah, I want the ravioli. Okay, don't don't forget, don't forget." Of course, they're not going to forget. They're going to, you just, you sit at the table, you place your order, and then you wait for it to come. Um, you know, it, it doesn't mean that you can't once in a while give it a little energy and give it positive love and, and, you know, just say, oh, I'm looking forward to eating this. It's going to be so good. And I love this place. And, you know, so, so it's the same thing for manifestate, for manifest, manifesting is you, you put it out there and you say, okay, and you, you know, you have to expect it to come. You have to expect it and allow it to come in the divine timing and the divine order. It, it's not going to come any sooner because you're, you know, like focused uh, so, so intently on it. Sometimes you just got to let things go and just let it, just let it arrive to you. And I love that she has the dove here of peace and it's radiating all these rainbow. I mean, all this abundance, all this love from source and then all this energy that it's going to be coming to us. Sorry about that, guys. So, um, anyway, I'm not going to do this video over again. So anyway, so it's really about receiving um, and just allowing it to come into you. And that's how we manifest. So. I'm going to go on to the 11th moon, which is the moon of liberation. How do I release and let go? Oh, sorry. So how do we do this? We're going to manifest. We got to, we got to let go. But how are we going to do that? So let's see who's going to come in to give us some guidance as to um, how we're going to, you know, who's going to guide us on, on this releasing and letting us go. Oh, I'm sorry. The 10th moon was from April 4th to May 1st. That's the manifestation moon. And the 11th moon is from May 2nd to May 29th. So it's the full month of May. So you Torans are looking for things. Ooh, we have green Tara with star delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything yourself. Oh my God. Perfect. Source is telling us, Ask for help. That's how we're going to be able to let go. Ask for help. Um, I know that a lot of us as, as light workers, are, uh, we hate to ask other people. We hate to ask for support. But this light working community is so beautiful. There's so many people out there that do readings, read for each other, help each other. You see somebody's, you know, been off for a while that you used to watch. Gosh, send them a note. Say, hey, are you okay? Oh, you know, how are you? Haven't seen you for a while. Um, are you working on something new, something special? Let them know you're thinking about them. Let them, let them know that you, that you have intentions of, of sending them light and love. That's what we're here for. We're here for mutually supporting. We're here to read. We do these free readings. Everybody does free readings on, on, you know, on, on YouTube and, and post them on daily basis or weekly basis or whatever it is. And, and we're, we're, just putting it out there to help people. So respond, give, give your gratitude, say thank you. Um, gosh, I don't know. Sorry, I could just go on and on and on. But this is how we're going to release and let go. We're going to ask others to give us a hand. We're going to ask spirit to help us, our angels to help us, our guides, um, our ascended masters, our gods and goddesses, whoever it is that you follow and you enjoy. Um, you know, just say, hey, I need, I need a hand here. I, I really want to, you know, be able to re release this fear of lack and and um, to sit in my space and to know I want to have faith. I want I, I need a little help. I need a little boosting. I need a, you know, uh, a pat on the back. All right. So then we go to our 12th moon. And this moon is the moon of cooperation. So that leads us really into cooperation. It's May 30th to June 26th. And it's how can I ded dedicate myself 
to all that lives. So not just, you know, to our animal friends, to, to, to Gaia herself. How do we get back? How do we work in cooperation? How do we form groups? How do we, uh, do things that will in, 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 empower our community and bring us all up? It's not just about the individual. We do it individually, yes. But this is about well, why do you do this? Why do you do these readings? Why do you, why do you, why are you of service? Because we're here to help humanity as a whole. And who comes through is Coventina with purification. It is time for cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. So by dedicating ourselves, by purifying ourselves, meaning by releasing those things that no longer are functioning for you, no longer of service, those negative thoughts, get rid of them, release them, put yourself in the, I mean, she's got, look at this, she's got a beautiful cup in one hand, she has a beautiful scallop shell behind her as a crown, and she's holding it's really interesting. I guess it's a seagull, but it has flaming wings. I mean, how fabulous is that? I've never even really seen that. Let me look at this. It's like crazy, crazy energy. And she's just there in all her glory, arraigned in her rainbow color uh, cloak that falls behind her, that red flaming hair. I mean, it's just... Um, she's, she's hot. She's ready to go. She's ready to pour that water on you and purify your soul, purify your essence, purify your intentions. Um, it's really about, um, being in, in the best place possible to be cooperative, to be part of humanity in order to raise humanity because by raising yourself first allows you to help others and the whole point is for all of us all of us to be raised up all of us so with that we go to the 13th and final period and this is the moon of presence and that runs from june 27th to uh, July 24th and it's how can I expand my joy and love wow beautiful all right so how are we going to expand in our joy and love and who's going to come through and help us with that ah oh, well, naturally of course mother Mary the divine feminine expect a miracle have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. What a beautiful card uh, for us to finish the 13th month on. It's having complete faith. I mean, she's she's surrounded by her, her choir of angels. She has the beautiful um, essence of the, the child in her arms as she holds all of us. And... Mother Mary's energies are the purest of intentions. Um, they radiate joy. They radiate unconditional love to us and telling us, I love you so much. Expect a miracle. When we expect things, remember, it's easy, does you let it go and just go with the flow and understand that we are over over we are being watched we are being loved we are we are being supported and that is how we can expand our love and joy is by understanding that we here are not alone that we here are are to share our experiences and share our joys and to elevate not only ourselves but others so I, went, I am going to pull one more last card, and it's actually for the July 25th date, and it's called The Day Out of Time, and because it's between the two lunar calendar years, and it's called The Day of Peace or The Green Day, and we'll see who will be coming in and what energies 
want to work with us. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to pick the first one that flew out. And, and it's Nematona. It's about creating sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. This is actually very appropriate because it's the day where you need to go within and be in gratitude for the year that we've had and to set the intentions and in looking forward and, and making that connection with the universal spirit, with the cosmic sun and creating that space of gratitude and those things that have meaning to you to reflect upon them. So it's actually a perfect card in which to end this um, fantastic spread. I really, really enjoyed doing this. Um, I, I'm fascinated again by the the lunar calendar and its ideals and how it can help us to grow within this year. And I I I desire for you all of the best on this new moon in Leo to use your creative energies to be able to understand who you truly are, be in your truth, be surrounded and supported by your angels, your guides, by the masters, and, and give thanks for everything that we are have accomplished and for that path uh, that we're setting out on and that we're walking and that this, these energies of the Lion's Gate, the New Moon, the Star of David are really going to just to be prepared because it's going to be a jet-packed month full of fiery, passionate energies. But we need to be able to temper them through the undying and unconditional love. I send you blessings to all, and I thank you so much for watching my videos, for commenting in Facebook, for sharing my posts, for reading my blog, my goodness, all these things. This is my month of my anniversary on YouTube for two years. And gosh, I can't even believe that. That's like crazy. I have over 700 and something subscribers. And I have thousands of views on my blog. And I'm so grateful. I am so uh, in such gratitude and appreciation for all of you. For, for all of you who have watched me for two years, who have watched me grow. And for those who are just joining in and following me on my journey. So have a wonderful, wonderful new moon. Namaste.